Hey gardeners, so here is a tour of this big bed that I'm calling the zinnia bed. It is really long. This is one of my longest beds, but I want to give you a view for the top and then I'm going to work my way down. So the bed starts here and then goes all the way down that way. So I've got some lavender up here at the top to try to deter deer and other critters. Doesn't really work. Got some colas, some butterfly bush. This bed has about five hydrangeas in here. You can't really tell because everything is just kind of crazy. My red bud, I planted that in there, I think last week, and it looks like it's doing well. Let me back up so you can see this bed. You can see my um, sweet potato vine down there. I wish I would have done this tour when the bed was really in its prime about a month ago. But now it's just kind of, it's kind of fizzling. Still looks good. There's still some really nice looking plants in there right now, but it is definitely kind of slowing down, fizzling out. Next year, I want to plant to where, you know, there's the rock border there. I definitely, I want to build up the rock border, but I also want to plant a hedge of something that goes from the top all the way down here to the bottom i don't know if i'm gonna do sweet potato vine next year i do love it and i do want it somewhere in my garden but i kind of want something that just follows that line all the way up we'll see still in the research stages still just thinking about it so i've got a couple butterfly bushes in there we've got some um Pugst, amethyst pugster butterfly bush from proven winners then i have some butterfly bushes um, that were part of the haul of bushes that i got from lowe's last year um, last year i was able to um, get like 30 plus free plants that they were tossing into the trash and i just asked if i could have them and they said yep so there were a lot of butterfly bushes in that mix I don't remember um, the like brand that they were, but they like this year they are doing fabulous. All of my butterfly bushes are doing amazing this year. Matter of fact, my pugsters they were on clearance last year, and you know some sometimes I feel like these nurseries and you know garden centers. All they really need to do is just water them. Just have like, you know, a watering schedule or hire a waterer and keep them watered. And you wouldn't have to clearance them down. But I mean, it's my, my win. But still. So we've got some ferns in here. The ferns were already here when I moved in. A lot of this stuff was already in here i've added to it and then i've moved some things around this bed actually had about four yeah it was four big rows of sharons we've cut the last two down like last month so where the red bud is is where one was and then right there you see the stumps of the last one i'm going to pull that out too but i really like the openness of this so I didn't want to block that but I also wanted to give my climbing hydrangea room to do what it needs to do and I am actually considering planting a second one over there however I don't really want the whole entire garage to just be taken over I want to still be able to see red and I know that you know, vines have a tendency to kind of just take over everything. 
So I've got that begonia right there. I love begonias in the garden. They do so well outside. This I actually got from Aldi's for about three bucks. And it's like one of the best hanging plants that I have outside. Got some hydrangea bloom, some rebecca, some more colas back there. I've got a uh, morning glory vine that I should not have planted because it's taken over. Actually, I should have planted it someplace else. Next year I will because I do like the blooms of this variety. Let me show you one of the blooms. It's not like a trumpet type of bloom. This is actually like more frilly and I like that a lot. So down here on the end I have my zinnia hedge which next year I'm going to move all the zinnias up there. So I have a patch of zinnias up there and then I'm next year I'm not going to do zinnias in this space. I'm going to let the hydrangea that's hiding under the zinnias have the space to fill out and bloom and do what it's supposed to do. So right now the zinnias and then the morning glory vine are kind of taking over everything. So yeah, next year definitely. I kind of want to let this end of the bed progress with perennials. So we'll see. I know I planted a ton of other things under there earlier this year and have no idea how those plants are doing because Everything else just got so big and engulfed them. And my sweet potato vine, guys, like this, it's doing exactly what I want it to do and it's beautiful. I love it. It's such a pop down here. I love it. So that is this bed. I'm gonna call it the garage bed. It is the longest bed that I have and actually is it the longest? I don't know because the one over here don't mind the craziness work in progress. This one's pretty long back there. But anyways, yuck, all kind of stuff going on over here. Don't worry about it. And don't worry about that. Just don't see it. So yeah, this is the garage bed guys. Just a micro tour. If you have any questions, leave me a comment i'm happy to answer them um, any questions plant questions garden questions whatever i am happy to answer those if uh, to the best that i can and i'll see you guys in the next video bye